Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I've just got back from the uh, Sutton Boot Fair, Rose Hill. Just making a brew, try and get my uh, head back in the land of the living. And I'm going to go through what I've got. It's quite a few kind of vintage -y old gaming bits today. Um, oh, look at that. It's all a bit not very well lit. So uh, I'm probably very quite a short video. Just going to flip through and uh, show you what I've got. Okay, here it all is laid out in all its glory the first thing i picked up was this um vintage fisher price music box i've had them before um it plays raindrops keep falling on my head which was ironic seeing as it was blazing hot sunshine today uh that was two quid which is you know it'll sell for around about a tenner so it's not too bad so i'm going to go from left to right um i think i've i've kind of paid strong prices on some of these but it should be okay for making still making some profit so for example i bought these six ds's um they had four chargers with them i think one is for a ds light one's for a gba stroke original ds and the other two are, i think maybe three ds chargers um I've, they, it was 55 i was trying to get them for 40 i, I kind of really thought it was too much but in, in the end I sort of did the deal because the guy does bring some other stuff and it was that kind of thing but um, getting them back um, some of them do have faults so I think I can sell possibly four so you know maybe four at 20 quid something like that um, maybe we'll sell the charger separately or put it with it and try and get them for 25 um, so still money to be made but obviously not as much as I would have hoped um, also got these off him as well and again I would hope to pick these up for maybe like a fiver each but um, maybe 20 quid for the two I think I could probably get around about 35 40 for them um, I've sold these before but haven't sold these um, and the price of these was strong a while ago but may well have come down a bit um, the game gear and the game boy um, I paid 20 for each of those so 40 for the two um i'm assuming this isn't working so that's how i priced that um this i wasn't too sure about i think i played kind of top end on these this does work so um yeah that's in really good condition as well it's got a spider-man 3 cartridge and tetris cartridge and it had this cleaner which i was kind of thinking is that worth any money it's not they're only worth a couple of quid um, and also a little travel bag as well don't you love it when your phone plays up so i filmed the whole second half of that haul and then it didn't um save for some reason anyway got a nice little homemade icy pop and i'm going to grab the bag which i've tied it away and i'm going to go through the second half so here it comes okay here we go it's delving the bag time um i will do this one first i didn't lay this out this morning because i was um charging it up does work thank god it's 20 quid um they will go i think i've sold them before for around about 50. first off the guy wanted 45. i think he'd been out in the sun too long um parami carb that was a pound probably get 10. right so i did that one this morning uh i got a tom tom that's two quid free lifetime maps always a good thing to look out for did that one this morning these go quite well I haven't had one for ages don't see them very often but you know original guitar pedals I've I did um done a couple of guitar boards recently like big old things which have gone you know it's it's huge thing to pack um, but they've gone well so I'll have to look up that one I have to plug it into my guitar and see if it works I've done these two already what else we got in here i want to show you this this is where is it this thing bbc bridge with a cart i thought it was a console it's obviously some sort of game that you play bridge on with the bbc i thought it was interesting because it's bbc a lot of people do go for old you know any bbc memorabilia you know i had a bbc mug once and it went for you know good money for mugs so there's that 
It's got the power supply in there, but it's got all these things. I mean, it could be absolutely nothing. Um, it cost 12 quid. He had it. He wanted 15. I wanted to pay 10. There's loads of it. Isn't there? All of this stuff. Electric challenge. It's all to do with bridge. It's nuts. So we'll see with that one. 12 quid's alright to take a chance on. There we go. Got a load of tangled up wires. Snares controller. Third party snares controller. Snares controller. And um, a snares. No power supply. No AV. Uh, well, it takes an RF. Um, yeah, the guy who told me this, he did look a bit dodgy. Um, looked like he'd been out in the sun too long. He was turning into a bit of a beetroot. But uh, he came up with his bag and he was like, fancy a snez. And, you know, I thought, well, yeah, I'll go for that. That was £20. So, uh, yeah, nice pick up there. Glad he came along and offered me that. Well chuffed. This time, I went up and... It's a eight mil, and I saw it's cracked. So I was kind of thinking, I hope I get that for a fiver. And I asked how much, and he said three quid. And I thought bargain, I'll have that. Well, the reason he said three quid is because I got back to the car and did that. <laughs> so it really is a spares and repairs. I'll probably stick it on for like a you know a tenner or something. But um, there you go. I'm glad I didn't pay five. Making a mistake on three quid is all right. Right, what else have we got in there? Did I show you this thing this morning? This was from the guy who sold me the overpriced DS's. Um, he had a bunch of stuff on his stall, like he had Xbox One, the original Xbox One. He was trying to get for thirty, sell for thirty-five. You can only get about forty-five, fifty on eBay, so that's ridiculous. Um, he had a GameCube, which was knackered. I mean the door was falling off and it didn't have the game cube plastic logo on the top and I think he wanted 30 for that and I bought a working game cube the other week for 15 I think anyway he did have this which is basically what you you connect a hard drive to that and then you know put it in your PS2 and run a load of like games that are on your hard drive on that with some you know other software and um, bought that for a fiver probably sell for about 15 have sold one recently actually not too long ago um, what else is in the bag? A pair of gazelles, three quid they were. Sold a pair, almost exactly the same size. Ten. These look like they're an eight. What size are these? Yeah, they're an eight. I could keep those, but I won't. Um, I think they'll sell for about twenty-five, twenty, twenty-five, something like that. And I think, I think we're at the end. Just the DS's and the Game Boy in there. Hope you enjoyed that. It's been a hot one today. Uh, if you did enjoy it, do uh, click on the thumbs up. It is very much appreciated. Very much appreciated anyone who watches these. Because even when the halls aren't brilliant, it is all what I'm getting in, in reality. So um, it's not, it's unfiltered uh, tat haul. That's definitely what it is. Anyway, hope to see you soon for another haul. And Thursday will be a live on Derek's channel uh, for the normal late night live at half nine. So hopefully see you there as well. Take it easy.